The Heron School District is working to combat bullying with a new program designed to teach children how to return to the classroom. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us live in studio with more. Mark, for many young students, being back in the classroom means learning how to work in school. Part of that education includes how to deal with bullying. Throughout this pandemic, I'm seeing students really struggling with anxiety and connection and attachment. They're very um, out of the habit of being at school. Heron Elementary School social worker Michelle Coriasco works with students all day, helping them learn character building and other essential social emotional skills. Part of the curriculum for Heron students district wide is the Character Strong program. Character Strong is a holistic approach to um, understanding others, understanding ourselves, um, having empathy, forgiveness, uh, patience, kindness. The program teaches characteristics that help combat and help students deal with bullying in a new approach. In the past we would advise kids to um, walk away, ignore it, you know, just suck it up, let it go. And now it's, it's more important to tell someone, talk about it. Um, having feelings is okay. Dealing with your feelings is very important. The pandemic had many effects on children, especially with not being in school. Now that most are back, teaching about bullying and its effects are important for a student's well-being. It's important to address bullying because it can have a lot of negative effects on a person. Um, it could cause them to have anxiety, depression, um, lack of appetite, uh, lack of motivation. One of the most important tips Coriasco has for parents is help kids feel empowered and deal with bullying in a healthy way. Build them up to where they feel good about themselves, which I know is not easy to do, but you do want to empower your children to be able to handle difficult situations. Many times we say tell an adult, but, which is important, but we also want to teach our kids how to handle situations on their own, which is empowering, and we can guide them through that. Coriasco also says being proactive with your children rather than reactive can help prevent bullying from getting worse. Live in studio, Madeline Parker, News 3.